This may be the easiest way to make a hard boiled egg. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this. It's a rapid egg cooker. And if you like hard boiled eggs, I guess soft boiled eggs, deviled eggs, who doesn't love deviled eggs? Uh, all sorts of eggs, you can cook them in this little bad boy. So, we are going to try this out. But I want to do a quick unboxing here and just show you what we get in this little thing. Now, I have tried, and I actually did a review of a hard-boiled egg cooker that you put in the microwave. And that lasted a couple of years. It seemed to work all right. And then kind of bit the dust. Now, this one is like the next generation of it. This is like a standalone egg cooker. And so, you don't have to have any other devices. No silly microwave oven and newfangled technology like that. So here's the little cooker itself. This is like a clear plastic on top, all plastic construction. Little handle here to pull off, a little clear top here. Um, all the components are inside this little bag. Looks like we get a little plunger thing, a cup for water, and it's marked hard, medium, and soft. And then on this side it says omelet poach. So I'm assuming this measures out the amount of water that you need. We get a little tray here, plastic tray. I think that's for the water. And then we get another tray, an inner tray. And then if you look here, all plastic down here, kind of egg-shaped feet, some little rubber feet, and then a two-prong cord attached to it. Looks like it's about two, two or three feet long. And then on the front here is the power button with the light. And then on top, this little metal ring right there, and then on the top, in between these two little flanking handles, we have the little tray that will hold the eggs. And you might be able to see here that you can put six eggs on the outside. So you should be able to make quite a few eggs with this, especially if you're going to do double eggs. Nice way to plow through it. And then inside here, we have some more paperwork, some do not to do types of things. And then kind of the kind of assuming that's like a stainless steel bottom pan the heating element is probably underneath there so i'm going to read the instructions and then we'll try it out hey let's try out this little egg cooker now i don't have it plugged in yet i'm going to take off the top here and i'm going to take out the little bar because this is the little handle for the egg tray itself and you can see here there are some tabs right there and so it should go in looks like it'll go in maybe the bottom like that and then twist to lock in there we go. And now you can pick up all your eggs. Now, before we load it up with eggs, this little hot plate right here will steam them. And because I can do six of them, I'm actually gonna do that. So what we have to do here is we have to fill up the canister here with the right amount of water. So for soft boiled, medium boiled, or hard boiled, we're gonna add this much water. And what ends up happening is that as it steams off, once all the water is gone, it will shut off. So it really uses the water for timing. So let's go ahead and get this thing filled. So I've got the water here for hard boiled. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that into the base. Now on the bottom of this, as I mentioned, there is a pricker. You can see the little needle right there. And you're gonna use this to puncture the eggs on the fat side on their muffin top. And then you're gonna put the bottom up. So you can see here, we have the egg and thin side here, fat uh, bottom side here. So I'm gonna take this little pricker and see if we can just put a little hole in that. All right, that was easier than I thought. Then you're just gonna load the eggs into the tray. So I'm gonna finish up poking, give it a little poke to the rest of the eggs here. So we got all these free range eggs in here now they were only free range up to this point. And now I'm just gonna take the top here and I'm gonna put it on. And there are some tabs right here that go under the little slots right there. So you have to kind of offset it a little bit, push the top on and then twist it to lock into place like that. That's going to help keep it on as the pressure builds. There's a little vent hole right up here. So you should probably see some steam coming out of there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in and you can see that little blue light is glowing. So I think it is working and we will see if we can cook these eggs. And I do wanna show you that it started cooking as soon as I put it in. We definitely have some steam building up here. So just after 60 seconds or so, the sucker is starting to go. Last of the water boiling off right in there. But the thing is chiming, which is kind of cool. And I'm not sure how to get it to stop. So I think that's saying that it's done. You can hit that power button. 
And now we can take off this top. It's nice that there's this little plastic piece here because this is really hot. I can feel the steam coming out of there. So be very careful and get the top off. And now we'll give these a second to cool off a little bit and then I'll peel them and see if we actually have hard boiled eggs. All right, so I have no patience and I went ahead and ran this egg under some cold water. It's still really hot actually. But then if we just go ahead and bust this open, you can see there we have a hard boiled egg. That's pretty crazy. And you can make six of them by just pouring a little water, puncturing the eggs, letting it do its thing, and it's all done. So if you like hard boiled eggs, deviled eggs, egg salad sandwich, you should pick this up. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Brown Panda, out.